Sebastian Vettel arrived at Ferrari in 2015 as a four-time world champion with hopes of emulating his hero Michael Schumacher by bringing back the glory days to Maranello. He came incredibly close, second to Mercedes Lewis Hamilton in both 2017 and 2018. It seemed a fifth driver's crown and a 17th constructors' championship were both within his and the team's grasp. However, despite having the quickest car on occasion, a number of tactical mistakes and driver errors repeatedly stifled their challenge, and the arrival of a young superstar teammate in Charles Leclerc for 2019 saw Vettel's number one status take a hit. So where did it all go wrong for Sebastian Vettel and Ferrari? Vettel's Ferrari career got off to a flyer, coming third on his debut in Australia, and just one race later, taking his first victory in Scarlet at the Malaysian Grand Prix. Recall from uh, especially the victories uh, Michael celebrated with the team. Uh, I think there were one or two. So uh, it's, it's incredible to uh, become part of that team. Uh, it's something special. Two further wins follow, first in Hungary and then again under the lights of Singapore, as their journey together gradually built momentum. But every other victory went the way of the all-conquering Mercedes, whose dominance extended into the 2016 season, where despite seven podium finishes, Vettel couldn't rediscover the winning touch. Some of it was just bad luck. Oh, I'm out! Crash! Somebody hit me in the rear, turn two, and then somebody hit me in the rear again in turn three. For sake! Honestly, what the are we doing here? But sometimes frustration got the better of him, and he lost his cool when he was penalised in Mexico for moving under braking while battling Daniel Ricciardo. Charlie said that Charlie said Yeah, no. you know what? Here's the message for Charlie. Honestly. A podium in Abu Dhabi saw him finish a frustrating year in fourth place, with Ferrari third in the constructor standings. His third season in red began with victory and the optimism that this could be their year. Finally, in a car that he felt could challenge the dominant Mercedes, Vettel and Lewis Hamilton would spend the season trading the championship lead and tensions ran high. Are you, wait, he break tested me. What the f is going on? Vettel literally just came alongside me and turned in and hit me. The incident in Azerbaijan added more penalty points to Vettel's license, but also marked a turning point in their, until now, gentlemanly championship fight. He won in Hungary to retain the lead going into the summer break, but from there, things began to unravel. Verstappen gets an excellent start, Sebastian Vettel needs to cover him off, Kimi Rackley on the oh. inside, and he's cracked with Verstappen, he's hit Vettel as well! Sebastian Vettel has lost this front wing. Lewis Hamilton does it. Four-time world champion. Vettel's eventual P4 in Mexico meant he could no longer catch Hamilton for the championship. But he finished the season a strong second with victory in Brazil and a podium in Abu Dhabi. He and Ferrari were close, but not close enough. The first race of 2018 renewed their hope. Vettel winning back-to-back -back in Australia and Bahrain. Surely this was their time. Running P2 in Azerbaijan following a safety car restart, Vettel threw everything into a pass on Valtteri Bottas for the lead. But a huge lockup cost him several places, and after Bottas's late puncture, what would have been an almost certain victory. The German won again in Montreal, and victory in Hamilton's backyard was doubly sweet. Grandissimo Seb, grandissimo, sei un leone, te l'ho detto, vinto Silverstone. Tac, 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 yeah! Grazie ragazzi, qui a casa loro. 
But there was to be heartache in his home race at Hockenheim. Sebastian Vettel! He has been leading almost from start to finish, but now he's out of this race! For sake. Sorry, guys. His win at Spa, after an incredible lap one overtake of pole sitter Hamilton, kept his title hopes alive and seemed to buoy his spirits. Bella gara, bella, smells smells Thank you. But the Britain's subsequent run of four consecutive Grand Prix victories put Vettel in a spin. They touch Martin Hamilton and Vettel has been spun round! Uh, quite oh. frankly, as through and spoon oh. goes Sebastian Vettel and Max Verstappen and Sebastian Vettel has come off worse! Sebastian Vettel has now been spun 180 degrees! He was runner-up again, and the resurgent Mercedes proved too strong. And for all Vettel's early season promise, a fifth driver's crown seemed just a little bit further away. 2019 brought a fresh challenge in the shape of 21-year-old Charles Leclerc, who'd excelled in his first Formula One season with Sauber and had been awarded a Ferrari seat in place of the departing Kimi Raikkonen. And these were testing times, as there was to be no early momentum. Mercedes were supreme in the early rounds, and Vettel was under pressure from all sides. Nine years Vettel's junior, it was Leclerc that was in a position to win in Bahrain, until engine trouble robbed him of victory. Then in Canada, Vettel was back where he belonged, leading a Grand Prix, but defending under extreme pressure from Hamilton. He lost the back end, took to the grass, and cut the chicane, but on rejoining, squeezed the Briton towards the wall, and received a penalty. The race was Hamilton's, but an exasperated Vettel made his feelings known. He made a bigger mistake at Silverstone. Oh, oh no! no! Sebastian Vettel's got it to Max Verstappen! And under braking, he just couldn't slow down! And another while running strongly at Ferrari's home race at Monza. Yeah. Oh, there's Sebastian Vettel! And he spun! Oh, he's, oh and he's coming onto the track just as Lance Stroll goes past him as well. He was now a lowly fifth in the driver's standing, having been outscored, outpolled, and outdriven by his younger colleague. The pressure was building. Vettel was reinvigorated by victory in Singapore. And though he'd inherited the win from a beneficial strategy compared to Leclerc, the Vettel of old seemed to be back. And it's lights out and away we go. And they were held for quite a long time and Sebastian Vettel got a really good start. He was ruthless in Russia. With Leclerc on pole and Vettel directly behind in P3, it was agreed the Monegasque driver would tow his teammate off the line, allowing him to slingshot into the lead and thereby block Hamilton's charge from P2. It worked, but Vettel's momentum carried him into the lead and he was in no mood to hand the place back. And let Charles by. And <laughs> His race, though, was cut short by engine failure, and his radio message couldn't hide his yearning for his glory days at Red Bull. Bring back B12. And then Brazil, and the tension with his teammate finally came to a head. Leclerc made it very tough earlier, and for that, oh, oh no, he's got a puncture! They made contact, and Charles Leclerc has got a puncture caused by contact with his teammate Sebastian Vettel. Oh, oh and Vettel's got them. problems too! Ferrari's championship ended on a down note, and Vettel finished the season P5 in the Drivers' Championship, beaten by his young teammate and Red Bull's Max Verstappen. Entering the final year of his contract at Maranello, and with Leclerc signing an extension keeping him there until 2024, Vettel was no longer Ferrari's number one driver. And with pre-season testing in 2020 suggesting Ferrari were again lagging behind Mercedes, Vettel's momentum was a long way from when he'd joined. The COVID-19 outbreak and subsequent suspension of racing means we didn't get to see Vettel race the 2020 Ferrari before the shock joint announcement of May the 12th.
It remains to be seen if we'll have the pleasure of Sebastian Vettel's company in Formula One over the coming years. But if and when this unusual season gets underway, we will at least have the opportunity of watching one of Formula One's greatest ever champions driving for its most famous team a few more times yet.